welcome to the program, which was created to entice you to participate in one of the many events held during the Nobel Laureate Festival. Every year the festival has a theme, the prefix is celebrating excellence and the sub-theme for 2023 is nurturing our creativity, consolidating our legacy. Here's Drenia Frederick, theatre activist and director of events and production at the Cultural Development Foundation, reflecting on the contribution of Sir Derek Walcott and other contemporary St. Lucian performing arts artists, both at home and on the international arena. I love all Walcott's plays. The first play that I encountered was Sia Dofe. I was 16 at the time and it was part of a workshop. And although I was one of the characters in the chorus, when I read Sia Dofe, I could not imagine. I said, who wrote this? And that was a, like the, the name for me, Derek Walcott stood out because who could create that language? Who could create that kind of imagery? He uses an abstract concept to explain an abstract concept. For example, when we look at the poem Odd Job, a bull terrier, he's describing love and he's comparing that love to the depths of the sea and the silence. And for me, I think that he is one of the greatest writers uh, um, of our time. And for me, the older he got, the more the writing became more current, um, the better he got. And as a see at Dofe, I didn't even know where Dofe was. And to have somebody create something that talks about a place near, at the end of St. Lucia, that is um, embodied in myth, that is also a, an Amerindian archaeological site, and create a story out of that is remarkable. And for me also, it's about my, that moment when I read Light of the World and I could see myself standing by the market, jumping on a minibus and having that experience of waiting for the woman with the big basket and she gone off to do something and say, Pakitimayate, and don't leave me on earth. And to encapsulate those lines and that bus ride. And I think for me, what he said at the end, just that life of those people. Um, and he said, there's nothing I could give them. There's nothing that they really wanted. But that experience of being, for me, I took it as being part of a community, something bigger than yourself. And that observation of the world of life. I mean, some people have referred to him as more than Shakespeare. Um, for me, Derek has set the, the trajectory of standards in terms of how far your art can go and where it can reach. Um, it can reach the sphere of the world and it can impact people's lives significantly. And whether it's the story of the, what we say, um, the 21st century, with respect to literature, is considered to be the era of the, the, the what is called the, the, the ordinary man. Um, with respect to a story about an ordinary person, whether it be Ashil from Omaras, um, I could see Ashil, I could see one of those fishermen at, at, at Bunan, you know, tying his boat, that same stature, that same energy, and how that relates to somebody, let's say, in South America or the world where they see some aspect of themselves, some aspect of their humanity in the character. And for me, what Walcott has done is taken what is St. Lucian and shown it to the world and told our story using the context of, let's say, the structures that he has learned and that has mushroomed into something beautiful. Most people, they come, they see the sand, they see the, the beauty of St. Lucia, the forest, but he has recognized the beauty in the people. And whether we think that it's a St. Lucia of then, of simple folk, uh, it still represents the St. Lucian attribute today. And that has influenced the work like young persons like myself. I 
My first interface with Derek Walcott was a very long time ago during the 80s where I saw my first production of Tija and his brothers at the Castries Comprehensive School. And he did not use the stage. The entire production was staged on the ground floor of the auditorium where the audience, we were almost part of the experience inside of the set. And for me, that influenced me in trying to make the productions that I do interactive and in a sense still create what we call the fourth wall and break it, come out of that and come back to the reality of the fourth wall. And it allowed me to, to see that, you know, you can experiment and you can do things differently. Um, you may le learn the rudiments, the format, but you can give people a different experience. And from his productions, I learned theater is an experience. And it's that moment of that catharsis that you want to achieve, whether it's that message that goes out and resonates to the audience, or whether it is the experience of being in another world and experiencing an alternate reality. And for me, that's what Derek has done in terms of the influence. For instance, when I did Masquerade Master, um, to a large extent, that first image of seeing Tija and his brothers as a sort of musical, that influenced how I did things, creating not only context and theme, but spectacle, something that gives the audience an experience. And I think in terms of the influence of Derek, we can see it in the work of other con of my contemporaries in terms of how we develop productions. Musicals are still very big in, in, in terms of productions in St. Lucia. We still enjoy that. We see that through the work of Dixon Tindy, um, which I had the pleasure of directing. So you can see that there is a, a trend towards a particular standard and a particular style that really defines the St. Lucian context, the St. Lucian culture. He brought our people on a page, then onto a stage, in terms of persons understanding who St. Lucians are and what you can achieve. It doesn't matter if you come from 238 square miles, your dreams are big and the world is, is, is entirely your playground, so to speak. And I think that's what he has shown us. If you're not in St. Lucia, here's an opportunity to participate wherever you are. Share festival events with family and friends on island and internationally. To request a program of events, visit the Facebook page at Nobel Laureate Festival St. Lucia. Email info at ddmediarelations.com or WhatsApp 2842111. You can also view events in real time on any of our partner platforms. I'm Delia Delore. Goodbye.